Well, I became Orlando's Outstanding Teen and then Miss Florida's Outstanding Teen. And then um, entering into the national pageant, I really knew that the job was tangible and I knew that I had equal opportunity, but I was not one of those who envisioned myself wearing the crown. And so um, when I did win the title, I was overwhelmed at first, um, full of fear. I had always looked up to the title holders as being just these almost unrealistic, like teenage gods. And then once I was in the position, I was scared that, you know, maybe I wasn't meant to fulfill this and, you know, how am I going to handle the, all of the duties that come with it. But um, since I've won the title, I've really realized that this is where God has meant for me to be and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. My crowning moment um, was actually pretty scary. I was standing there with some of my best friends who I had made through the pageant. I had become so close with all of the girls and I started getting that feeling in my heart that this is maybe, you know, like my calling, maybe I'm going to win and then the fear started setting in and um, after I had been crowned though, the best part of the entire competition and even my year thus far was turning around once I had been crowned and seeing all the girls I had competed with running towards me with open arms. I mean, literally, I don't even know if I'll ever feel like that again, just knowing that they were welcoming it and proud of me for being there. and that I was representing them was unbelievable. If I could meet myself five years ago, I would probably tell myself to be a little more um, diverse in my activities. I had um, an extreme passion for dance and wanted to focus on dance, but I wish I would have taken a bit more time and really put my heart more into my volunteer service, more into um, my church and my family. Even though I really did have a great work ethic at dance, I wish I had kind of spread myself out a little bit more instead of keeping it all centralized. My favorite? That's so difficult because I've been so many places. Um, definitely though, the Country Music Awards. I had an awesome opportunity to be backstage, to walk on the red carpet with um, all of my favorite artists. So I pretty much had a blast and you know, it was pretty great. Never gonna meet him again, but I did have the chance to meet him. When I didn't know who he was, I knew he had a song on the radio, and um, I didn't even know what he looked like, and you know, I was pointed out, you know, that's Scotty McCreary. Oh great, I'll meet him. And then I met him, and then I heard him sing, and then I fell in love with him, and I'm never going to see him again. Well, Florida is known for its beautiful beaches, yes, but we have more than that. We have lakes and rivers and springs and um, even the ocean. I love scuba diving on the coral reefs, so really anything that involves the water from fishing and kayaking, um, just being on the boat with my family. I'll even sit and do homework on the dock um, out by my lake. I live on a lake. Really anything that involves the water or being outside. If I had a million dollars to spend on only myself, I would definitely go yacht shopping. Um, something, you know, maybe 40 to 50 feet, um, something with a shallow draft where I can get up close to the reefs and go scuba diving. Definitely all the scuba gear. I need kayaks, I need sea dews, um, a fishing platform on the back with, you know, everything I need. Maybe, you know, I could even have somebody come with me and charter fishing tours on my boat. That'd be great. Um, a deck on the front where I could lay out in the sun, interior decorating. Um, you know, I might as well just stay at a private resort while I'm at it. I don't know. I, c I could do all sorts of things. Gotta put the gas to put in the boat. It's a lot of gas to put in a big yacht. And I'll take my cat with me too. That might take some maintenance. I could hire someone to take care of my cat. You never know. Anything. My heart really goes out to everyone who has supported me, not only up to my journey um, as Miss America's Outstanding Team, but those who have been here with me through it and who will continue to support me. Um, from my family initially to the staff here at MAO Team, really every little thing has made such a difference. Um, it's when I walk into a room and there's a little girl there that's with a big shining face. It's those little things and those moments knowing that I've been able to make a difference in their life that really comes back and touches me. Um, everyone who has just given me a shout out of wisdom or a shout out of praise or even, you know, giving me constructive criticism. I've really thrived off of that and I appreciate everyone who I've met in my life so, so very much.